I'm Hannah, I'm a fashion and graphics designer and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a realistic neon glow effect using Adobe Illustrator. If you'd like to follow along, you can download the practice file from the link in the description below. Let's get started. First step, using the rectangle tool, we're going to make a dark background for our neon effect to really pop against. Make sure it's on the bottom layer and locked into place so it doesn't affect our designing going forward. Then we're ready to start designing what we want to apply the neon effect to. I like to use script fonts for this as I think it really lends itself well to that neon style. Just doing a sign that says anything is possible. Once I'm happy with the way that looks, I'm going to add a brighter color. This I actually think will look good in white and so that when that neon effect is applied, it looks like it's glowing. Now I'm going to show you how this can also be applied to illustrations, not just font. So we'll start with a cherry. First, we'll start with the ellipse tool and then go in and add some anchor points with the pen tool. Then we'll smooth out the lines a little bit and go in and add some small dimension. Nothing too detailed since it's going to be for a neon effect. And again, we're selecting those really bright colors that we think would lend themselves nicely to the neon glow. Neon is a distinctive eye-catching illumination that occurs when electricity runs through a tube filled with colourful gas. We're going to be using the Gaussian blur effect to mimic that chemical reaction between the electricity and the colourful gas here. Once you're happy with your design, make sure that the cap and the corners of the pen lines are actually on the rounded and not blunt and this will help give a more authentic neon look. Make sure your design is all grouped together and then we are ready to apply that neon blur effect. Select your design, go into Effect, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Pick a figure between 0.5 and 1 to start with and hit OK. Then you're going to copy and paste in place and using the Appearance panel, we're going to alter that Gaussian Blur figure to 4. Hit OK. Copy and paste in place again. Change the figure now to eight. And then we're gonna do this two more times. Copy, paste in place. Change the figure to 25 this time. And then finally, when we copy and paste it in place, we're gonna change the figure to 50 and hit okay. Now you can see that it does look very much like a neon sign. The only issue is that we can see some pixelation happening. So to fix this, you need to go into document raster effect settings change the resolution to 300 and make sure that this figure is 720 and hit OK. As you can see, this problem is now fixed and we're happy with our design. And that's all it takes to create your very own neon blur effect using Adobe Illustrator. You just need to experiment with the colors, shapes and blurs to create that authentic glow. Click the link in the description to discover more Adobe Creative Cloud productivity tips.